After having defined the concept of average velocity and instantaneous velocity, now we're ready to take a look at the velocity of this rider that we've looked before uh, as a function of time. Notice that as the rider, as time goes on, the velocity of the rider is increasing. Even though in the movie you see that the rider is going slower and slower, what you're seeing is that the speed of the rider is decreasing. But the velocity, since it's a vector quantity that in one dimension has a sign, it can be positive or it can be negative, the velocity, since it's starting in a negative value and it's moving towards smaller negative values, that means the velocity is growing, as you can see that uh, the points align in a curve that has positive slope. So the velocity of this rider is continuously growing. The speed of the rider, as it approaches the left side of the screen, is decreasing. Right about, about that point, the speed is close to zero, the rider momentarily stops and now it starts to slide down the track increasing its speed and increasing its velocity what's important to point out here is that even though it seems like this the motion of the rider has two different parts meaning the part that the rider is going to the left which uh, the rider is decelerating in the language uh, commonly used and the part where the rider has stopped after he has stopped on the left and starting to slide down towards the right where people would normally say that the rider is accelerating because the speed is increasing in the language that we use in the language of physics in both cases the rider is accelerating and furthermore the value of the acceleration of the rider is the same for the whole motion you can see that the velocity has been increasing all along it started with a negative value and it has been increasing constantly at the same rate at this point the velocity is zero and it continues to grow now with positive values so this is a motion that has constant acceleration the slope of the velocity versus time plot is constant as you can see here and a calculation a, a linear fit of the data that we have gives us a slope of 0 0.09 meters per second square that slope it's what we call acceleration and for this motion we see that every second the velocity of the rider increases by 0 0.09 meters per second since the velocity of the rider increases linearly with time we can write the velocity at some final time is given by the velocity at the initial time plus a constant which is the slope of the plot and we'll call that constant a for acceleration times the time difference between the final and the initial times from the plot that we have if this is the velocity and that's the time axis the velocity is a straight line so if you call this the initial time and this the final time with this the initial velocity and this the final velocity clearly the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus delta v and the slope of the line is defined as delta v the slope of a line is just rise over run so delta v divided by delta t so you can write that the final velocity in terms of the initial velocity is equal to vi plus a times delta t this is the equation that tells us how the velocity of this object that we've seen in the movie changes with time. This is an example of what's called uniformly accelerated motion. The idea being that 
the acceleration, that is the slope of the velocity versus time plot, is constant.